थे I'm feeling super tired and haggard after a terrible night's sleep. But seeing these guys who've appeared in the night is, uh, well, I guess it's what it's all about. Makes it worthwhile. Hmm, not sure, but it's awesome. We're heading to Dartmoor, which is awesome because I love Dartmoor. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna see a few cool things along the way. Most importantly, uh, some sort of coffee, because I think that's the only thing that's gonna keep me going. We did it, Nancy Drew. Here we are, number one stop. Oh, there's another little guy out there. First stop on the Dartmoor tour. I managed to procure a cup of coffee from the farm shop and we've driven here. It's a shame you couldn't see the scenery because honestly, it's been a really beautiful drive, but I, I only have this phone to film on and I was using it for the sat now, so there we go. But um, it was super good. And yeah, here we are in Dartmoor and we are going to walk to Wisman's Wood, this incredible ancient woodland. So, okay, let's get going. Another fantastic piece of parking. You came, Juju. Yeah? I've wanted to come here ever since I first saw the pictures of the wood in this really awesome guidebook I've got called The Wild Guide. So I'm pretty excited and the sun's even coming out. Nancy Drew, small enough to go in there. Nancy! Good girl! Good! Oh, what a little legend! Woohoo! It's, it's not big. But go on, good girl, in you go. Go on! Yes, yes, go on! Yes! Oh, no, okay. Yes! Yes, good! Woohoo! What a little legend! Not a big hole! Well, she just squeezed through, so that's a good start. I think it's because there aren't any more styles. Is this? Are we approaching the woods? They certainly look old and mossy. First fall over in the bag. Yeah, Nancy Drew walking <laughs> when I turn around. She's always right by me, which of course is very good of her. Slide number two down a rock, and if I don't watch out, we're going to be making it back to the car. The woods are really magical and haunting, if I'm honest. Felt a little bit like maybe we weren't ever going to make it out. It's a kind of place that could keep you forever. Really, yeah, it's a special place. It really is quite slippery and treacherous. I've fallen over twice. And uh, yeah, I really need to get a new pair of cross country running shoes. Instead of wearing these road shoes that now have such a big hole in um, that my foot doesn't really stay in. Good girl. Go, good doggy. Well done. We've made it to would have come in the moor. I was almost falling asleep at the wheel. Honestly, didn't sleep a wink last night until about six o'clock. And then I had like crazy dreams for an hour before I had to get up so we could leave where we stayed overnight. And I'm fading fast. 
this is pretty much my favourite village ever. When I first came to Dartmoor, I went to Hatel Vale, which we haven't been to yet, and hopefully I get a chance to show you, and then came here. And it's just the most amazing village. The ponies come down and just graze on the village green. I hope that they come out so I can show you. It has the most beautiful church and, oh, has the most amazing cafe that Nancy Drew remembers because she wants to go inside. I know we're not going to drive any more today. Love this cafe, they have so many nice vegan things. Oh my gosh, poor Piggy. She's happy to lie down too. Mm -mm. No. Wait, settle. Nancy, settle. Good girl. Good girl. I want the mirror. There's a little car park, privately owned car park here in the village that you can park in, which is actually awesome. You're not allowed to park overnight in Dartmoor National Park, according to the park bylaws. So yeah, really cool to find this place. Widdicombe is awesome and it's only five pounds to park overnight, so pretty good. Shit, oh, it's beauty. Really nice. You're going down there. <laughs> Not like Nancy Drew. Just want to get her feet wet. You can't go over there, sweetie. You're on your string. You got to come back. Obviously, if you're snicking a bit, it looks most icky. Come on then, let's go for a nap. Maybe I'm even going to be able to hear the sound of this little brook when I'm sleeping tonight. If I can, maybe we're going to stay here another night because I could do the rest. We just got back in the van. I was settling down for rest and I had a terrible catch the scent. I knocked that off the wall again. Oh no. Great. And I do not have a hoover. I think. Nice little bit of Russian caravan. I'm really, really into tea. I'm really into tea flavoured tea, especially. I also drink green and white tea. Hence the need for tea shell. Piggy, come on. Come on, don't be sulky. Hey, mummy loves you. Come on. If the weather's good in the morning, we'll be able to open up the back doors, see out to the little stream, take our tea out to the picnic table, I won't do it now because it's too noisy in the car park really for Pig to relax but that would be really good because I doubt there's going to be anybody else here when we wake up tomorrow. Oh, I'm feeling so much more relaxed now. I thought last night was going to be good, the place I'd chosen, but it was just so noisy in the night. Vehicles kept turning up and I had no idea what they were doing. First I thought it must be, well, nefarious people. They came at two o'clock, quarter past three and four o'clock, vehicles pulling up. I wasn't really asleep anyway, but every time I started relaxing enough to go to sleep, these vehicles called up. So by the time the third one came, I just gave up on sleep. Like, that was it. It wasn't until six o'clock, which felt kind of like safe morning, that I did drift off a little bit. We were outside a farm shop last night. I'm not sure if maybe it was actually like deliveries and stuff in the night. I thought somebody came to put stuff in the bins. It may be someone emptying the bins. Like, maybe the bin men work all night. I don't know. And maybe the produce people and the bakery people come and deliver in the night. All I know is it was just really bad and now I feel relaxed and we're gonna have some tea and we're just gonna chill. Piggy's still sad and sulking because she just wants to be at home with everybody, not with me in the van. Hi Piggy, but I love you. When you have a dog of this style, You'll find that it just it manages to lie in a position where there's absolutely no space for you on the bed, like from any angle. It's honestly a bit of a miracle. But I just love her. Cheers. I'm 
I'm going to replace with this lighter peachy. At least it's not cold anymore though. It got down to minus three last night. I was sorely regretting having left the warmer under Cornwall, but it's warmed up a bit today. It's still only like seven degrees or something, but in the van. Actually feels quite warm. Maybe there's been a bit of sunshine shining on it. And I had the heater on when we were driving. So that is really nice to be able to sit in here and not just be bitterly cold. <laughs> So I'm going to stay in the pub and have two glasses of wine because I'm having fun chatting. So somebody else is sad and fair enough because it's dinner time. One dog and one little spot here for me.